They play against the Philadelphia 76ers at Wells Fargo Center. I'm Brian Anderson. With us tonight, two great basketball minds, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Also, our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey, Allie. Tobias Harris is the straw that stirs the drink in Philly, if you will. He said, quote, I see myself as the connector here, bringing guys together. I've been around the game a minute. I know how to communicate with different personalities. I'm here for one reason only, to help this team get to the championship. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. And as we start up the new year, here's a glimpse at the new power rankings. You take a look at the 76ers. They're still the top team in this league, sitting at number one. You know for the Spurs, they've stuck to the plan in the early going, playing their style of basketball, and they're proving to everyone they have the potential to get even better. All right, let's check out San Antonio's starting lineup. Murray and White pair up at the one and the two. LaMarcus Aldridge out there with DeMar DeRozan. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Matisse Thibel out there with Ben Simmons. And it's Green in at the three slot. And these teams both look to operate in the post more than most. Grant, why is that becoming rarer these days? Yeah, there's such an, a desire now in the game to keep the court wide open. Spread and give the great players an opportunity for driving lanes and creating plays for themselves and others. And so having big guys inside in the post really clogs up the space and really hurts a team's ability to spread the floor. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I think post play should be a part of any of team's attack. But that's the state of today's game. Good battering different. Now here's Harris. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. On offense, here are the Spurs. Here's Johnson. Outside White. The putback. It's good on the putback. Lamarcus does this well, getting into the mix and creating buckets off the offensive rebounds. First quarter, just over a minute play. Pass to Embiid. Another shot. The rebound by the Spurs. What a defensive play. Gets the stop and does it without fouling. against Simmons. Now here's DeRozan. There's five to shoot. Ooh, poked away. It's stolen by Green. DeRozan against Harris. And then Embiid throws it down. We all know rebounding is about effort. Embiid is showing lots of it. I love how he's unwilling to give up on the play. Now here's White. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. And Danny Green gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. There's a screen by Aldridge. And it's Murray off the drive. Shot clock at five. Spurs need to get one up here. Here's Johnson. Coming after it like a pit bull. Danny will get in your shirt and stop the cold. Pass to Thibel. Here's Embiid. Here's Harris. Defended by DeRozan. Back to Harris. have gone one of four to start and you have to admire the patience that Derek White plays with. Grant, he's grown as a playmaker and reads defenses very well. Yeah, that's so true, B.A. I mean, that patience of White has helped his shooting efficiency. Fans are really hoping he shows a bit more aggressiveness as he looks for his own shot. But you have to like how controlled he plays in the pick and roll. I like this young man. 
They get it back. Second shot opportunity. And the bucket is good for Harris in deep. A tremendous defensive rebounder. Harris getting it done at the offensive end that time. Outside Murray. DeRozan against Harris. Fight for three. He can't hit that time. The 76ers go the other way with it. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. It always helps when your opponent turns the ball over that many times. I thought it was the deciding factor overall. There were some unforced errors, but they also created some mistakes through their intensity on both ends. Nobody really considers Tobias Harris as an elite defender, but by all accounts, he's an above average one. Opposing teams know that What's he's up? one of the best defenders on their team. And grant a 6'11 wingspan for Tobias Harris. That's a big bonus for him on defense. It really is. I mean, when you combine that with Harris, missing. Easy chance for mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Simmons has to Embiid. Green with the ball. Harris outside. And stolen by Aldridge. Here's Johnson. Simmons defending. Pass to Murray. The Rosen outside. to shoot outside Murray and once again off the mark by San Antonio the Sixers leading here's Thibault they get it back and then Embiid with the dunk and B.A. he takes his rebounding so seriously this dude is such a grinder his teammates appreciate the effort just goes all out on the glass you know, this is one of his specialties, keeping plays alive, creating second-chance opportunities. The 76ers shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. Here's Simmons. And it's Simmons! Slamming it home! This is where Tobias has really improved, keeping his eyes up, making plays for others. Grant, you were the master at meshing with your teammates. How key is being on the same page early in the year? B.A., it's critically important that everyone get on the same Mind page the early. Mind the lane. Uh, I felt like Let's when stop. I played and a new team was assembled, it was important to connect off the court. Those connections, that relationship, I'm a strong believer, carries over onto the court. Uh, so meshing, coming one as a unit is critical for that success of that team. Chemistry counts, doesn't it? Good work there as it goes. DeRozan's got five. One of the best mid-range shooters in the NBA. DeMar DeRozan makes a living from this spot. Over to the left wing. Aldridge against Embiid. Again, Philadelphia. You know, I think this guy just loves the game of basketball. The preparation, the interaction with his teammates. He has fun out there on the floor. Now here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 13-point game against Washington. To the left side wing. Outside White. Pass to Aldridge. And here's Murray. Just four to shoot. Second chance effort. Tries yet again. And it's DeRozan with the bucket inside. He has seven. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Embiid with it. around and rims out. San Antonio's gone one for five from deep in this first. Struggling from that area. Here's DeRozan. Uses the glass on the layup. We see the value of increasing your range. DeRozan can find more space inside now because of it. Harris outside. Pass to Embiid. Out to Harris. Now here's Simmons. Now Embiid. 
Harris outside for three. Drains it. Now it's three for five. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Time call here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Defeated by Washington in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. You know, sometimes you just don't match up with a team, no matter what you do. And it starts to feel like quicksand. You know, they were reacting rather than dictating. I thought they played scared all night. conference standings you take a look at the 76ers they've started strong this year holding the second place spot well right now for the 76ers give them credit I mean they've been playing very well this season but they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal right now they know they have a bullseye on their backs right they knew teams would be gunning for them night in and night out that's only fueled their commitment to putting a great product on the floor here's Maxi outside Milton to Howard. Shot. Outside Curry. San Antonio trailing here. Outside Mills. Here's Pirtle. Deflects the pass. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Howard. He was all over that pass. That's a cautionary tale. A little bit late there, but you tried to get into your opponent's head. Forced them to go somewhere else with the ball, and he did that. Now here's Mills. He's coming off a 13-point game against Washington. And not only was he creating for himself, he was setting up teammates with good shots. Early on, they haven't shot it well for him. To the left wing. Pass to Maxi. to Embiid. He shoots a three. Tries again. Oh, they get a hand on it. Outside Milton. Beyond the arc. No luck on that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And with this matchup being East versus West, this is the first of only two meetings between these teams. Very difficult game to predict. They are not familiar with each other. I expect to see a lot of in-game adjustments tonight on both sides. The first one falls. A talented, versatile player who has been on a few teams. Rudy Gay is still going. both of them he's living there tonight a tough guy to guard without fouling and the bonus he's going to knock him down outside curry here's Embiid and then Embiid with the dunk incredible work right there on the glass just doing all he can to extend that lead hey once you got him on the ropes keep swinging 
swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is really. They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. And it's game with the miss. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Pass to Maxi. Oh, trying his luck from deep. That shot off the mark. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Here's Walker. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. The Sixers leading. Outside Milton. Here's Vassell. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. has gone just one of six from the three-point line so far. Pass to Howard. Going inside, Milton. The offensive rebound. Here's Korkmaz. From downtown. Rebounded by Gay. Now here's Mills. He's closely guarded. Gay with the ball. There's the triple. That one no good. Here's Korkmaz. And we've got 118 left to play in the first quarter. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Bill's attacking. Three-pointer. Here's Purtle. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Got to be on the lookout for Purtle crashing the glass, using his body to wreck the defense on the boards. Embiid, a screen on Walker. Pass to Embiid. Let's it go from deep. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Embiid's got 11. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Outside Walker. Tipped away. And that'll be San Antonio's ball as it goes out of bounds. Spurs able to keep the possession. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Gay. Swatted away. Kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Pass to Howard. There's 18 seconds left now in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Curry, that's good. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Okay, outside. The three ball. No good on the shot. And that does it for the first quarter. The Sixers on top. They lead by eight. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after the break. You want to make an impact and, you know, share your story with everybody. Uh, and so he kind of pushes everybody back home in the whole continent to want to do the same thing. 
Well, certainly Embiid puts himself front and center, willing to lead the cause on and off the court. And this is where his big personality helps. He has a larger-than-life quality that moves people. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Sixers, what do you guys think? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. And they have the guys to do it. Play to your strengths, and they can make up for some of your weaknesses. So on the floor for the Spurs, Rudy Gay out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then there's LaMarcus Aldridge. Then there's DeJounte Murray. DeMar DeRozan, what a career he's had. He's a skilled and tenacious wing since the day he entered the league. DeRozan, the former Trojan, probably the best player ever out of USC, Smitty. You know what, B.A., you don't get any argument from me. DeMar DeRozan has had a storied career. Only thing missing is a title to his name. And the Spurs making a change here. Johnson's checked in. DeRozan hits them both. DeRozan, a raw athlete entering this league. He's worked on his skill to the point where he's now a perennial all-star candidate. Now, here's Howard. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Here's Simmons. Pass to Cork Moss. With the drive. Yes! And that's Simmons with the assist. And the 76ers lead by 10. And it gets even worse for them. I mean, he just waltzes down the lane, extending their advantage. Ugh. Not good. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Sends it home from three-point land. Johnson's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Simmons, the pass to Howard. Here's Cork Moss on the wing. Green. And he lobs it up to the rim. And it's Howard finishing it off. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Closed it in on two minutes played here in the second. DeRozan passes to Aldridge. Howard grabs the miss. Howard's got rebound number five here tonight. Their strong work ethic has been evident on the glass. Really getting after it and being physical. Now here's Simmons. 14 points for him last game against New York. And he brought the defense. Secured four steals over the course of the game. San Antonio with the ball. Sixers getting their last shot to go. Pass to Johnson. The ball's knocked loose. On the wing, DeRozan. Over Green. Off the left rim and out. For Philadelphia, they've gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Simmons with it. Now guarded by Gay. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Granite, 6 8. You played mostly the small forward position. When we talk about the best player in the league, it seems more often than not, a small forward is mentioned. And, B.A., I think part of that is how the game uh, has evolved over the years. 25 years ago, the thought process was you played inside out. You had to have a great big man to give you a chance to have success. Nowadays, as it's become more about perimeter play, spacing, and of course having guys who can do a number of things within that system, a small forward like a LeBron James or Kevin Durant kind of fit the mold of what you need to have great success in this league. So yeah, I, I think that plays a huge role in why the small forward position is so important to today's success. White, he's checked in for San Antonio. Second free throw, no good. For San Antonio, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Fires the three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Simmons has got four rebounds now. Here's Maxi, Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Green. Fires for three. 
and he can't get that one. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. DeRozan outside. And he drops it in from the low post. DeRozan's got 13 points. When DeRozan senses he's on a roll, he becomes hyper-aggressive. And we're going to have a jump ball. And we've got to see that sensational mobile one block again. You know, it, it appears they're determined to add to the lead, not with poor offense, but with big-time D. Three and a half minutes played already. DeRozan against Green. DeRozan passes to White. Pocket six. Off his leg. The official saying it was kicked. Thibel, he's checked in for Green. Simmons. That's good from DeRozan. He's in attack mode, drawing contact now, getting to the line, something he didn't do at all in the first quarter. Maxi. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Harris. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. And let's take a look at some of the players we expect to participate in this year's dunk contest. Always an exciting event. Yeah, year after year, these guys find new ways to innovate and stun the judges. It's remarkable stuff. And you look at Simmons, and I could see him moving even higher up in the ranks. He's certainly a talented guy up in the air. He is for sure, but this list is just packed with the real aerial artists. This dunk contest is really going to be something special. And there you have it. This year's dunk contest. Oh, oh my goodness. into the highlight reel. Woo, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. What's up? And that one misses. Well, Grant, you grew up no stranger to professional sports. Now, your dad had a distinguished career as a running back. How'd that help you become an NBA player? So aside from the fact that my dad told me to shoot my free throws and use the backboard, it really did help a lot, Brian. Uh, at a young age, to be around the game, in the locker room, on the sidelines, understand what it means to be a professional, how hard you have to work, the dedication, the sacrifice. Having seen that and experienced that as a child, I think really helped me understand what was necessary and what needed to happen in order to become a professional basketball player. Hey, and shout out to Calvin for sticking with the fundamentals, too. <laughs> Pass to DeRozan. That's tipped. Howard with the ball. 
ball. Picked up by DeRozan. Here's Maxi. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And here's Simmons. Throws it up high. And Harris throws it down. And it hasn't just been their stellar offense. Their defense has been effective as well. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Pass to Johnson. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. So exciting to watch greatness. Aldridge showing he still has the athleticism. Okay, LaMarcus. And here's Simmons. He has seven. Now here's Harris, defended by DeRozan. Harris' shot is good. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. San Antonio's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Brian, this season started later out of necessity, but there's been talks of permanently pushing the schedule back. Avoiding overlap with football would be a plus, but on the other hand, guys, the players who are parents, they want summer breaks with their kids, too. Yeah, that's a lot to consider, Allie. Good stuff there. We'll see how it shakes out. Right now for the Spurs, give them credit. I mean, they've been playing very well this season, but they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal right now. They know they have a bullseye on their backs. Right. They knew teams would be gunning for them night in and night out. That's only fueled their commitment to putting a great product on the floor. Pirtle. Pass to Vassell. Six on the shot clock. Picked by Pirtle. Outside Walker. Puts up a three. A rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Pirtle grabs a miss. San Antonio has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. The Octave Pirtle, the Austrian center by way of Utah. Big frame on this guy at 7 1. Has good reach on his arms, and he can bother shooters. Mills, no good. Philadelphia has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Embiid. Outside Milton. Back to Embiid. Six for 12 after that one. Smitty with the size of Pirtle. He can anchor a defense. He does. Jakob Pirtle does a great job functioning as a great rim protector. Shows good anticipation on when to challenge. He plays with heart and doesn't give up on a possession. 
Driving to the basket. The sell shot is good. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Outside Milton. Embiid with it. He's working on Pirtle. The fadeaway. Oh, he gets it to go. 7 of 13 now. I mean, it's almost like the higher degree of difficulty on the shot, the more focused Embiid will be. Of course, as an opponent, it can be so frustrating to face a player who can score against your toughest defense. And he makes it. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. And the 76ers shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Pass to Howard. Embiid with it. Covered by Pirtle. Now, here is Howard. He's got six. Back to Embiid. Over Pirtle. Embiid can't hit. A challenging stretch here for San Antonio. Here's Mills. Rebound by the 76ers. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Outside Curry. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. Here's Milton. Off target from outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. Gaze checked in for DeRozan. Outside Milton. Pass to Harris. And here's Curry for three. Rebounded by Gay. San Antonio has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Count it. After missing his first six shots, now one for seven. Exactly the result you want from that trip up the court. Rudy Gay with a look from point blank range. Pass to Harris. Back to Curry. And here's Embiid. The three. Rebounded by Gay. Here's Mills. It from three. The former second rounder, Patty Mills, first made it in this league because of the deep range. Pass to Harris. To the middle. Embiid inside. He's working on Hurdle. Embiid, good. His arrow's been trending up as of late, and he's been magnificent tonight. 43 seconds left in the second period. Now Gabe. Ooh, rejected by Harris. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Green's checked in for the Sixers. to Bissell. Six to shoot. Puts it up from 15. And that one comes up a bit short. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Outside Curry. 11 seconds left to play in the first half. From the arc. Sinks the tray. Curry's got five now. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. The reason why, they stayed aggressive. And they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. And so that's the end of the first half. The Sixers on top, up by 15. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Well, you hold the lead now, but how do you build on that as the game continues? 
Uh, just keep being, uh, being aggressive. Uh, I thought we did a good job defensively, so we just got to keep being aggressive and making plays. A lot of times, defense leads to offense. Thanks, Joel. Appreciate it, Ali. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everyone. That was a combination of everybody and everyone. Everyone. Ah, Did you catch that? I got it. Yeah, Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. How about that first half, fellas? It was Joel Embiid who got hot in the first. He ended up with 17 points, 11 rebounds, and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the 76ers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? When Embiid plays like this, he's the best center in the league. The skill, the physicality, the attitude. He's not just out there to play well. He's looking to intimidate. Shaq, what did you see from San Antonio? Well, not at all what they envisioned coming to the game. Uh, and defending the paint has been the main problem, Ernie. They got to commit a few more bodies down low, and they got to protect the inside, protect the inside, protect the inside. And even if they do, still might be a little too late for them, Ernie. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Harris and Embiid make up the front court. Ben Simmons is out there with Matisse Thibel, and it's Green in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Outside Thibel. Here's Embiid. And Aldridge with the block. All that length, all just able to close airspace quickly. Murray up top, Simmons defending. Murray, no good. Now the 76ers with it. Pass to Thibel. Now here's Harris. Defensively by DeRozan. Outside Murray. Here's Johnson. Main covering. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three second call. It's so easy to get frustrated when you make mistakes, but you have to keep battling. It's just one trip down the court, but you have to have short memory in this league or you won't last long. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. <laughs> and that's exactly what a team needs when they're trailing. Energy on the defensive side of the ball. Pass to Embiid. Outside Thibel. Takes the three. Sinks it from distance. Thibel's got himself on the board with a three there. Not the best three-point shooter in the league, but he's got enough skill that you can't just let him fire it up. Murray passes to Aldridge. They kick it out to Murray. With some arc. Ooh, great D that time from Simmons. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken. And the team is suffering the consequences. Outside, Green. Aldridge against Embiid. San Antonio with a rebound. Aldridge has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. And we know Joel Embiid knows that he's one of the best in the game. You love it when he challenges other stars and goes right at them on the floor. Embiid is a true superstar and super personality in the league. Simmons finds Embiid. Left side, Dybul. It's over white. The bank 
shot. No good. Grant, last season, MB declared himself the best player in the league. Not many echoed that statement. Yeah, B.A., most fans and pundits will disagree with MB. It's hard to make a case for him. But that's the mentality that he has to have as a superstar. So who knows? In a few years, it might be true. Embiid against Aldridge. Here's Thibault. Fires in the triple. Thibault got six in the quarter. You can't discount Embiid's value as a passer. That vision and court awareness. These are traits a team loves to have in a big man. four years in college. That's a rarity now. What were some of the pros and cons of that choice? You know, that was a great decision for me all four years in college playing at Duke. Uh, but nowadays, you're almost penalized at times for staying in school for so long. Uh, players today want to get into the league. It's the best training, the coaches, instruction. Uh, for me, it was great, but the landscape has changed. The modern game is younger. Players uh, are more developed. It is sort of the environment that we're in here now in the NBA. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Pass to White. Looking to end the run. Trails it from deep. Quick and decisive on the catch and shoot. I like White's approach there. Philadelphia has gone two for two from deep here in the third. Harris with it. Let's a three fly. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got five rebounds tonight. And he lobs it up top. Lays it in off the pretty lob. A nice make there from Tamar DeRozan, who is so strong on the offensive end. Pass to Harris. Embiid drawn the double team. And the call will be against Derek White. That's his first foul of the game. Checking for the 76ers. Right wing. Right side Simmons. Shot clock at six. Embiid misses. The Spurs have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. And the basket is good. Murray's got his first basket. I just love this kid's fearlessness. Goes right at him. He draws contact. It doesn't matter to him left to the wing 18 feet out and it's off the back of the rim no good those are precisely the looks this team is trying to create you know if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot more often than not you're coming away with points Aldridge right side White on the wing pounded by Harris the struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. To the wing, right side. Embiid 
against DeRozan. Back to Simmons. And he drives in. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Harris against DeRozan. And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to go on Ben Simmons. And when you have DeRozan looking to drive, it's hard to slow him down without committing a foul. then Smitty a move becomes ultra popular we have the Euro step the crossover now the step back three what do you think will be next you know first of all B.A. I am disappointed as my friend you didn't add the Smitty in one of those all-time moves but that's okay I don't know B.A. what will be next but I would like to see if somebody could duplicate the sky hook nobody has since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar Here's Maxi. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Embiid passes to Simmons. Over to Rosen. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. That one's off. The Spurs making a switch here. And he sinks the second. DeRozan with the ball. 22 points for him. The biggest progressions for DeMar DeRozan now can create a shot off the dribble in a variety of ways. Outside Milton. Pass to Embiid. Over Aldridge. And the basket by Embiid. Are you serious? I mean, he made the defender look silly right there. Just an epic move. Outside Mills. Knocked away. Here's Vassell. There's the drive. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Free throws good. And the 76ers making a change here. Curry's checked in. Pirtles checked in for San Antonio. Walker comes in for DeRozan. Both good from the line that time. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Philadelphia has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter. Pass to Embiid. And here's Curry. He's got five. Puts it up from 17. And the 76ers tack on two more. And for a guy over seven feet, Embiid's jump shot is ridiculously smooth. So unfair for the team. 
Here's Mills. Buries it down low. Mills has got his second bucket of the night. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lane. Harris outside. Out to the right wing. Embiid inside. Covered by Pirtle. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. He can be such a physical force. It's so hard to keep Embiid from getting to the free throw line. Free throw drops for Embiid. And Embiid drops them both. San Antonio with the ball. Trailing by 17. Gay attacking. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Gay's got six points. And despite some recent injuries, Rudy Gay showing a great burst on that drive. Here's Maxi. And he banks in the layup. You're not going to get stops against him unless you give an effort. The Spurs have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And a moment to check out who the San Antonio Spurs have coming up. On Wednesday, they're off to New York to face off with the Knicks. And then Friday, they'll be matching up with LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Green's checked in for Howard. And he makes both free throws. 76ers have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Here's Maxi. Soft touch off the glass. And the 76ers lead by 17. That's good planning and that's good execution. And that's a great look. And there's the foul. It's on Joel Embiid. That'll be a second foul of the game. Mills. He takes it in. And he gets the bucket. Mills has gotten his third basket of the night. Nice conversion off the pick and roll. Patty with the right read takes it himself. Here's Korkmaz. Oh, the teardrop falls in. That's nice work. Stopping short of the rim. Just laying it over the top. Now Mills. Seven points in the game. To Walker driving inside out to the wing three pointer no good it's tough to get open in this league and when you do it hurts not to capitalize now Green outside Curry fires the three Hurdle grabs a miss Hurdle's got his fifth rebound in this one Typically, around half of Curry's shots are from three. But he's really a threat from anywhere on the floor. Ground. Yeah, great point, Pierre. He has a tremendous mid-range game. And we saw that from him back in college. He's really improved his shot off the dribble, too. And 
what you love is the confidence. This is a guy who believes everything he puts up is going in. And you know what? If I were him, I would too. Well, a chance to check out some stats for DeMar DeRozan. And he's had a rough past five games. He's had trouble finding his offensive rhythm and just hasn't been as effective as he'd like to be on that end. But this is something all players go through, and I'm sure he'll fight his way back. Pass to Korkmaz. There's a minute 34 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. And the basket by Embiid. Yeah, a real versatile big man with multiple sweet spots out on the floor. Embiid is definitely on the wall. Okay, outside. That shot missing. Green with the defensive effort. Philadelphia has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. From eight feet. Gordon Moss, no good. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Screen by Gay. Walker attacking. Can't hit from in close. It's not easy to finish in traffic, but those are chances he has to convert. Curry against Walker. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Rudy Gay picks one up. And he makes a first. Thibel, he's checked in for the Sixers. And San Antonio also making a switch. Johnson's checked in. And so Curry nails both of them. Here's Gay. We've got 33 seconds left in the third. To stop the drought. And he hits the jumper. Gay's got 10. Boy, I'll tell you, from mid-range, Rudy's shot mechanics look effortless. Back to Curry. On the wing, Green. Now here's Curry. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Thibault. the third quarter a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back the Sixers on top up 19 after a quick break we're coming right back with the start of the fourth quarter And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works. Or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. And so in the game for the Spurs. Murray and White pair up at the one and the two. DeMar DeRozan is out there with DeMarcus Aldridge. And it's Johnson in at the small forward position. The three, here's Harris. And that comes off the assist by Green. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. DeRozan with the ball. Picked up by Embiid. And it's blocked by Embiid. They retain possession. The drive by Murray. 
Oh, and makes it with the kiss. One of Murray's weapons showing up there. That crazy long wingspan. Here's Simmons. Outside, Green. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. Pass to Embiid. Embiid drawing the double team. Count the basket. Embiid's got ten points here in the second half. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. White finds Murray. Back to White. In an era of social media, Grant, even referees are jumping in, trying to illustrate to fans why certain calls are made, where you stand on transparency. It's all about transparency, B.A. Look, they don't come over to clarify these calls because they like us. <laughs> Although we're, we're pretty good guys. Well, you are. But it's all about the theme of the NBA, being transparent, making sure the fans at home understand uh, why a call is made. I love it. I think it's a fantastic uh, addition that the league has made. Well, we saw it in the bubble, the way they're explaining calls, and with an open mic, not just for us to relay the information, but now we can hear it directly from the official. Tipped. Pass to Harris. Into the lane. Outside for Green. Let's go with a three. And the 76ers, another three. Their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Murray passes to Aldridge. And here's White. Inside. Outside Milton. And there's the lob. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Now a timeout, timeout called by San Antonio. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it. The other allowing itself to be bullied.
inside. To the wing on the left for three. Maxi. The shot, no good. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Hey, it's blocked by Simmons. And it's out of bounds. The Spurs able to retain possession here. Checking in for the 76ers. Walker for three. Howard grabs the miss. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And this rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Four on the clock. There's the three. San Antonio with the rebound. DeRozan's got six rebounds in the game. Walker for three. That won't go either for Walker. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Outside Milton. Pass to Howard. Well, Grant, one area where we've seen great advancement is how we're seeing injuries treating, the rehabbing of these injuries, and the speed in which players are coming back is unprecedented. It really is, B.A., and certainly I've experienced my fair share of injuries. And over the last 20-plus years, uh, the advancement uh, in, in not only treating injuries, but preventative measures so you don't get hurt. And, and so... Uh, teams now, whether it's load management, understanding the importance of nutrition, rest, recovery, all of these things factor sure in too. to the sophistication level now that's applied to players. And so, in a way, I wish I was 25 right now in today's NBA uh, with all the technology and uh, sophistication available to teams. No good on that one. Good on the second one. Philadelphia with the ball. They're on a 14 to three run. Howard in the high post. 13 feet out and he nails the jumper. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Outside Jones. Back to DeRozan. Banked it in off the glass. DeRozan's got 26 points. DeRozan has such good body control that it's very difficult to disrupt his shot with contact. Pass to Milton. And it feels like every year, Smitty, the pace of the game gets a little faster. You think that'll continue, or will a new trend take hold? You know, I think so far, B.A., that will continue. The reason why there's so many three-point shots going up. So there's long rebounds, and teams get out and run. And defensively, it's hard to affect the game the way they did it back in the past because of all the new rules. But I also think whenever somebody wins a championship playing at a slow pace, it's a copycat lead. We'll go back to a slow pace. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Now the 76ers win it. They're on a 16-5 run. Pass to Milton. Howard with the ball. Here's Maxi. Shoots over Walker. San Antonio with a rebound. DeRozan's got rebound number seven tonight. 
so frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Walker for three. Yes, great play by DeRozan to set him up. Walker's gotten four this quarter. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. Pass to Milton. Here's Bradley. Well, Grant, one of the neat things to come out of last season was an epic MVP race won by Giannis Antetokounmpo. No question, B.A. The MVP, the young guy, Giannis Antetokounmpo, versus the old man in LeBron James. Nobody thought LeBron James still had this level of play in him, but he proved that he was elite. But look, at the end of the day... Oh, wow! Oh, crazy good! Incredible leaper, explosive finisher DeRozan with one of his acrobatic dunks. Pass to Howard. Here's Maxi. There's the drive. Off the mark, and the drought continues. In a bump this quarter, he's trying to shoot his way out of it. Outside Jones. Five on the clock. Pulls up. Bradley grabs the board. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? Here's Maxi. Pass to Milton. Oh, nice D from Walker. San Antonio's gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Here's DeRozan. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Here's Maxi. Looking to get back on track. Oh, some solid D from DeRozan. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Here he goes. He got right to the cup using that screen. It's amazing. No one can check him right now, but there's still work to do to cut into this lead. Boy, what a rookie class we saw in the NBA last season, Grant. Some special talent out there. Some really promising talent entered the league last season. And I'll tell you, one thing that I've learned through the history is players end up retiring and leaving the game. One the shot. league replenishes always with just some incredible talent. We saw Zion Williamson and his athleticism play above the rim. Ja Morant out of nowhere emerging just as an incredible future star in this league. Kendrick Nunn and others. So it's safe to say that the league is in good hands and the future is bright with some of these rookies from last season. And it's the Spurs ball. A big stretch here going. 10-2. to Pass to Lyles. Up top, Walker drives to the hoop, and he lays it up and in. And it really took a while, but they've started to find their form. And this run's making the deficit look a little bit more respectable.
he has truly put on a show out there tonight tearing it up on both ends of the floor so impressive and the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. Boy you can see the amazing relationship he's built with the hometown fans and it motivates him to always give them his very best. something Danny has been working on. Putting the ball on the floor and taking it strong. Simmons against Murray. Down low. Here's Aldridge. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Boy, absolutely no rim protection. Leading to a lot of easy buckets. Simmons with it. Outside. Green. No good from outside. Pass to Murray. Grant, I know you faced Kobe Bryant a lot over the years. What's the main thing you remember about him? Kobe, well, there's so much to remember about the late, great Kobe Bryant. The buzzer beaters, the excellence, the dedication and focus he brought to his entire career. The thing that's beautiful about Kobe's journey was him starting off as a young man, trying to find his way, at times struggling, endearing himself to his teammates. And as he went through his career, he really became the elder statesman, the big brother. His influence on today's players was just incredible. And I, I think it was just a beautiful story to follow from start to finish. Uh, what an incredible ambassador for the game. What an incredible leader in the game of basketball. And he's someone that we all sorely miss today. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the 76ers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout. But tonight, they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. Here's Embiid, knocked loose. DeRozan with the ball. Green picks him up. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth. DeRozan, a screen on Simmons. Murray drives in. Doesn't go for him. Green with the defensive effort. And here's Simmons. Harris up top. Embiid inside. Aldridge on him. Now here's Harris. Defended by DeRozan. Oh, it's blocked by Aldridge. Murray against Embiid. Here's DeRozan. No good off the back of the rim. Now Simmons. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. All right, let's go courtside to Allie LaForce with our player of the game. Allie, it's all yours. Joel, tonight was a statement win. What is it that people should know about this team? You know, we're tough, uh, especially defensively. That's our motto. We want to go up. We want to get stops. And I think we did that pretty well uh, tonight. But, you know, we we young. Uh, we're learning every day. And we're going to be really good. The more reps, the better. And a lot to look forward to in the future. Thanks, Duel. All right, Allie. Thank you. And that'll wrap it up, folks. 
For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. We'll see you later.